My name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. It has no value to you guys, but it has great value to me and the dogs I'll be rescuing. So, you know, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe uh, if you can. Uh, so, this video, I'm going to be going over uh, the 200 MA, the power of the 200 MA in trading, in cryptocurrency trading, stock trading whatever stock whatever market you're in coin market stock market it doesn't matter the 200 ma and i've been learning this all year long it is it is com comparable in that way basically based on the day trading of the market i keep telling everybody in these videos that this is a day traders market or a macro market there's really nothing in between um right now especially this year um just based on how high we went with bitcoin and the coin market cap itself and how i mean 85 percent loss to 90 percent loss this year um in, in you know the coin market cap so uh it you know it is what it is but i do want to show you the power of the 200 ma in this one um i i think um everybody should know this this is fundamentals when it comes to day trading and it's very easy to see um, and very easy to kind of to, to, to play if you know what to look for. Now, obviously, things don't always go exactly the way you plan it. And that's why the language of the candles is also a big thing. But in this video, I'm really going to be pressed on the 200 MA and uh, we'll go over the uh, languages uh, as well. So uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's see if I'm showing you the right thing here. All right, cool. Uh, so coin market cap, 221 billion. All right, kind of, kind of going sideways now at this point. Uh, Bitcoin is at 66, almost 6,700, 66.73. Ethereum's up to 221. XRP, you know, or I would say down. Everything's kind of, you know, green and red right now. Green and red. So it's a little, little mixed right now. Uh, our top changers: Eternal Token, Gas, Golem, Zcoin, and Theta Token. And eternal token, 41%. It's great. Gas was up actually more than that, and then it just took a nice little drop now. And Gollum, that's a good coin to have. Z coin, Theta coin. That's, uh, you know, the, and of course, Huobi token, or Theta token. So, um, exchange tokens, you know, exchange tokens are really good. Ontology, it's good to see. Uh, so, just kind of going, you know, over a review here, real quick, of what we're really looking at um, in the coin market cap right now. Um, uh, is it a good thing to see? I mean, it is. You know, as I was saying in my last one, Mike Novogratz was talking about um, how Bitcoin is worth around 6,700 and uh, mathematically it can't go down any farther than 6,000. And I looked into that and, you know, really when it comes to my technical analysis and the way I see things running with the news and everything kind of going, um, he's around about right 6,000. I would say around 5,600. Um, you know, everybody's so scared it's going to go down to 3,000 and not saying that it's not, but, uh, you know, probability, uh, you know, I'm, I'm about a thousand right now. 5,600 is my uh, support line on that, the floor, I guess, so to speak, when it comes to Bitcoin. So what I really want to get into this one is technical analysis. OK, now we're going to I'm really going to slow down here a little bit and kind of show everybody what I'm talking about when it comes to this. Um, the MACD and the RSI obviously play a uh, accentuating role when it comes to day trading, um, but they absolutely use these things when it comes to day trading. And I'm on an hour chart at the moment, so let's go into a five minute chart and kind of show you what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so Let, let's, let me show you it in, on an hourly chart first, you know, and then we'll and then I'll move in and we'll actually make a whole nother thing so I can show you kind of what, what I'm talking about. But this this is kind of it in really in a nutshell. OK, so the 200 MA is this line, really light blue line that's running right here. Now, when it comes to day trading, as you can see, it's the 27th and then the 28th starts about right here and UK opens or closes on this red one right here. So that's one o'clock. Okay, and these, and again, this is the reason why I have these uh, um, lines in here going up and down are uh, vertical lines, horizontal lines, vertical. Uh, these are the times that futures opens per area. So UK is red, 
uh, blues US and green is when Japan opens and US closes. So, uh, and this is all on Hong Kong time. So what we're looking at here is basically the 200. So in the beginning of the day here today, okay, it broke the 200. Now that bar, that big ass bar was the one that actually broke the 200. You can actually say this one did, but really no, it actually closed just above it, but this one broke way above it. Now, normally what happens in a day trader market, all right, about 33% is when you start seeing people starting to come in. And this is from here to here, okay? 33% is when you start seeing people coming in and they just pump it, pump, 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 pump. They want it up, okay? This is day traders, this is what they do. They see that it's broke the 200. This is why it's so powerful. This is why there's a magnetic um, property to the 200 MA. Okay, it broke that 200 MA, about 33% in, and this is what professionals do. They'll, they'll pump it, they'll, they'll go uh, long on it. They want to long it because they know that, that it's going up. Okay, so it's gone up. Um, and so they can see it going up and this is where you see a, a, red, a red guy here. Now when you're, when, uh, uh, you know, and this is really um, an isolated red bar in here, an ISO or IRO, IRB, sorry, IRB. So really the language of these candles, okay, you see this dumping and then this one shows up. And when this one shows up and, tur and turns this green, this red one to a green one, Okay, that's another initial. That's it's another indicator to go long on it. To you know, in a short in a short while. Again, this is hourly chart. You can do this on any any chart. Hourly, five minute, fifteen minute, thirty minute. But most day traders will do this on a five minute to uh, thirty minute chart. Hourly chart just kind of shows you really an overview of of uh, what's going on. So I'm showing you really the overview, and again, we'll go into it, and I'll show you even more. So when we came up here, you had this IRB. All right, a lot of people, a lot of day traders will tell you to buy on this IRB, and that's pretty much absolutely what happened. Is they bought on that IRB, it's gone up. Okay, kind of hit another little IRB in the middle, in the midst of these green. Okay, these indicators and time frames. <coughs> Excuse me, indicators and time frames. Okay, so this is when Asia opens up. So this is really what you know how I'm showing how I'm seeing why these vertical lines really do have some uh, power in accentuating a uh, day trader's perspective. Okay, so this is really all when it comes down to perspective. Perspective is about eighty to ninety percent of of your of your trading. Technical analysis plays about ten to twenty percent, and it's all the way. But that is the most significant ten to twenty percent because if you don't get that ten to twenty percent right, your eighty percent perspective is is going to be off as well. Not completely off, but your probabilities of winning, uh, it goes down. So again, from here, 33% is really kind of the, the line is where most uh, day traders will come in. They'll pop in, they'll see an IRB, they'll buy in right there. Don't really worry about that. I'm just kind of you know saying it as I'm going. Um, but essentially 33% broke it. You see that it's a strong red bar, it's going up, everybody's gonna come in long. This is futures, okay? This is how people play futures. Goes up, and about right here is where you're seeing the ceiling and then the reds start coming in, all right? Your sellers are starting to come in. And this would be a point where you could actually say, I wanna go short. And the reason why this big orange line is in here right here is that that is about the 50% line between he between your stop point which is if you got in here all right and and but the uptrend started up here you want to put a stop point just underneath that start of the uptrend just underneath it okay so that's going to stave off very minimal losses if it happened to go the wrong way on this bar um, but the probability of it going up after you hit 33 percent is more likely than not okay and now look one two about three o'clock in the morning is when it starts doing this big pump up. Right after UK opens up or closes, however you want to look at it, you know, on the time framing. Um, and of course, this is where the kind of the ceiling is, the top, and about halfway in. And now it's riding around just above that halfway mark, which makes sense because you want to get in. This is all new money. They consider this once it goes over that halfway point. You know, it, once there to there is, is, is determined. Once they determine there's the high point, that was the low point, start, 
Here's the high point, basically close of this, you know, of this rally right here. They're only going to go down about 50 percent. They want out. They don't want the probability of you making more under here is very, very low. As you can see, these or even this red and green right here is very, very low probabilities that these people made money. But they did. Um, but very, very ballsy for the people who stayed in to that point. So safe bet 50 percent down about halfway down is when you want to short, short, short and then get out. Be done with it. There's, this is where your profit point is. So it's the same, you know, it, it's it's crazy the way it works in day trading. Futures definitely has a huge play when it comes to these markets and movements in the markets. Um, and I'm going to go back. Oops, that's not what I want to do. I'm going to go back even more. I want to show you even another one that I, and this is on the downside, okay? Well, the one I showed you here, all right, this is on the upside. Right? It moved up over the 200 MA. So let's go. To the downside and I'll show you that it works the same way so the yellow is the stop point because basically this this red one broke it and went about I would say about um, about 33% down it's about right here All right about 33% down on there and everybody starts coming in and selling it short 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 okay so there's the bottom you know of this rally this little rally right here and then you have a little green one in here that's an IGB, okay? Um, uh, it's a, a green in a sea of red, basically. And it's gone up a little bit and it went shorted down, okay? Not really worrying about that. We're worrying about this right here. This is where people make money. They don't play these things unless they started in here um, or they lost some money and they want to, you know, they know how to play the market. Fundamentally speaking, these are fundamentals of day trading that I really want to show you. And well, this is why the 200 MA is king. Okay, and so 200 MA, this red one broke about 33% down. People start shorting it, short, 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 short. That's the bottom right there. So if you look from basically the start of the rally, and I would say the start of the rally is at this yellow, is where you want to put your stop point, because um, you you know you want to. Um, give yourself that much probability of loss. So yellow is your stop point. So from there to there, there's your half point is in this orange right here. And as you can see, the next sideways market stopped in the halfway point. Right around the halfway point is where it's just started going sideways and right around that 200 mark. I mean, it's the way you're, we have to look at this and the way you're looking at technical analysis and using it. And this is absolutely how day traders use it. And they are definitely in charge of this market right now until a big whale comes in and moves their foot when the way they want it. This is just how it works. And this is why I'm looking for the openings of these markets, the green, the red, the blue vertical lines. These are openings um, of futures market. Uh, absolutely, Asia opens up at eight o'clock for futures and closes at eight o'clock which is basically when America opens because you got to think people sleep and then people wake up. And I've been looking for this for the past four or five months and I'm not exactly correct. Um, but I do know Asia opens at eight o'clock Hong Kong time around there. And uh, America opens up around eight o'clock New York time around that area. Seven, six, seven, eight. And UK is around one o'clock. Either that's one o'clock in the morning or one o'clock at night. One o'clock definitely has a significance with the UK coming in um, with the futures market. I mean, I, I mean, I've done a lot of technical analysis uh, and I've done a lot of perspectives and different ways of perspecting these things. And really, I'm going back to meat and potatoes and the meat and potatoes of day trading really, really does work and can show you the way things are going to be moving, the way things are going to be going in this whole market. Um, so. Uh, let's go into a 15 minute chart. Let's go into a five minute chart. And we'll actually kind of look as to what what this looks like. So it's not opening up. I mean, the main thing when you come to day trading, you want to look for when things open up. That's really the main thing. And as you can see, even on this 15 minute, nothing has changed from my from where I drew things on my hourly chart. Not one thing. So let's move this. There we go. Right there. So this is the one that's gone up over the 200 MA. So this went over the 200 MA. Nothing significant. Nothing significant. Now about right there, you see this little uptrend right here. I'm going to move in so you can see it. The uptrend. About 33% in on the uptrend. 
is where you see everybody start coming man and boom they just beef up the and you could say that's a that's a big you know uh, crypto holder doing it, a whale this is days and I, I absolutely got to say that this is on the day market um, and basically the UK when the UK closes and opens there there's some strong indicators that movement happens uh, violently very violently so this is a violent up it hits up here and this is where everybody's kind of just sells for the most part you know they're selling or they're kind of just but they're pretty much just kind of just holding it at that point and waiting for the next uh, for the next boom or indicator of what's going on based on the language of these candles based on the language of what's going on here all right this is why people stay in this is why people are not scared and just sell 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 this thing all the way down day traders perspective it's a totally different from a macro and a swing trader and a core traders perspective so this is in a span of what was that when a one two hours right there yeah about one about an hour then it goes sideways for you know three four hours as you can see asia opens up nothing really happens um, even if you look at the language of the candles, the language of the candles doesn't shows you probabilities, doesn't show you exactly what's going to happen, but it does show you the probabilities of what's going to happen. And everybody's not now waiting for something to happen. They're waiting for big movements. If they're waiting for a big movement down, they're going to get in as well. So you see these movements up, okay, green, and all this red ate it up, okay, and you see this IGB right here. This is our, uh, you know, green bar in the sea of red. And then boom, so this is your ceiling that I've proposed as a ceiling, looking at it from an hourly point of view. And once it broke that ceiling and came back down, it's just red, 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 red. You would almost say that that's the ceiling start right there and it just started this violent move down in the red, okay? Now violently, violently, violent, it's 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 trying to stave it off, it's trying to push it off. Once it breaks that 200 MA, it's a dump. I mean, it's a dump series. That's just the way the 200 MA works. Doesn't matter if you're looking at five minute, 15 minute, or 30 minute charts. Um, but once you have one chart and you're trading on it, stick with that chart, obviously. Um, but so five minute chart goes down in the red. And then once it kind of hits a bottom, all right, that's when everybody starts getting out. And these people, you know, they made more money on the short and these people, you know, are obviously trying to push it up in so they get pe more people in to get over that and long it up. So there you go. So now we're going sideways on there. And if you look, that's about halfway. It's a little bit more than halfway, but it makes sense that I'm doing it from the halfway mark from your stop point to there, as opposed to the start of the rally, which is route right here to up here. So, you know, it, basically this is definitely now riding sideways on a halfway point now it's trying to break it but as you can see nothing is breaking i'm going to move in nothing is breaking over the 200 ma violently this one started way down here and of course it for it to keep moving up violently it, it can it has to be the next candle next the next next candles to basically move it violently and it didn't happen so nobody's going to really masses of day traders professionals are not going to get in at that point Everyone's going to be holding off until they see something significant happen. Okay, broke that one. Then you see a nice big bar because you, people are selling out. People have only got some scared professionals in there, and boom. Doesn't matter if you're professional or not. You get scared, you know. When you see a lot of money coming out and your profits dwindling, and you're down to like two hundred dollars profit, you're going to sell out just to get just to get your profit, and you can always come back in. Perspectives of a day trader. I'm telling you. And when you have the money to, to back up your day trading and you know how, and how to work the market, it's going to work for you every time. It, not every time, probability-wise, more times than not. And I would say six times to two, six to two times it's going to be working. Um, so as you can see, it's still underneath the 200 MA. It then started taking violent, violent, violent downs, okay? Violent sells. Now, as a day trader, I would get in too if I, if, if I had shorted it, all right? Then you want to short it down here. Once you get down to a certain down, you know, probably about 33%, 
and then you don't know if that's gonna be 33%, but once you got a feeling that, hey, that's about the bottom here, I don't wanna risk any more, you need to get out. So that way you take your profits here, and then you wait for the greens. As you can see, this started red, and the greens ate it up. So the language of the candles is, is completely telling you with these long wicks and these long bars, even with a long wick and a short bar, I mean, you know, upside, you know, morning stars, hammers, and all these stuff, it all talks to each other to the couple ones behind it, okay? You can't predict the future, but you can always look behind it and say, okay, well, the probability that, you know, the greens ate all this up and this is going to be green again, the probability is actually more higher than not based on all this dramatic red happening in a span of 45 minutes or 15 minutes, I should say. This is a five minute chart. So it broke. It's now gone up. Everybody's going long on it. Once it broke that one, People are still going long, but you're getting skeptical because look at all that green. Look at all that green just happening in the span of 15, 20 minutes. So again, they're going to wait. They're going to come in and then they ever, so when everybody starts selling back out, starts shorting it back out because they don't believe that a new high is going to be taken out. As you can see, a new high from this point on this sideways market, there's no new high. So short, 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 short. It's, I mean... The day traders really do um, have control of this market right now. The futures market is really pushing a big thing um, on us. So it's just the way things work. Um, either you're a macro trader or you're a day trader. It's it's really up to you. Macro is more of a safe bet. We all know that you know our coin market cap is going to go up in the next year or two, if not five years. It's going to go up huge and we're all going to be sitting pretty. But until then... Um, it's a day traders market or, you know, really look at it from a macro point of view and just hold on to your coins. Uh, I wanted to get into empower and crowd holding real quick. These are the two types that I um, am making crypto um, without investing or, uh, you know, without trading basically or mining it. So on this, um, I now have twenty five thousand eight hundred thirteen USD dollars in pre coin because I have to wait 90 days for maturity. I cannot pull this out. But since the the price of Empower Coin went up 375% today. So that's why I'm up to 25,000. So, <laughs> I mean, you just keep grinding away at this and eventually it's gonna pay out. And I think everybody uh, who's been on this for a long time, they do understand that. Uh, another one is crowd holding. You know, I'm at the 275, 279, yup. Um, you know, and I have some Eternity Coin as well uh, that they're paying me to uh, give me my two cents, you know. So, uh, really, again, you really want to, you know, keep a hold on that 200 MA. That 200 MA is powerful. The Fibonacci helps you with macro trading and day trading. Um, but for the most part, Fibonacci is really uh, a swing core or macro. And again, swing uh, and core just not working um, right now when it comes to a lot of technical analysis, in my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, take it with a grain of salt. Do you your own uh, research and make your own informed decisions, please. Uh, one thing, last thing I didn't want to press on before I hit the crypto fear and greed index is that I am going to be doing a crowd um, funding project. And this is for a dog sanctuary that I want to be opening up. Um, and I want to be use cryptocurrency mining to sustain the operations and improve on the land and, um, you know, uh, uh, upgrade, you know, uh, expand on it. You know, I want to use shipping container housing um, to do this. Solar power, wind power for uh, the energy consumption of the miners. Um, I'm a project manager and this is the things that I do. So last, but I need to do, it's on start some good, but I haven't uh, posted it yet because they want me to do a YouTube um, video on it so they can post that as well. So that's the last thing I need to do on here and then I'm going to post it. So uh, look for that on my channel. I'm going to post it on my on this YouTube channel, Crypto Dog to the Rescue. Also on uh, Start Some Good crowdfunding uh, platform. So, uh, you know, uh, support would really be helpful. I'm um, really trying to do this on my own to really show everybody that it can be done and that there is a real uh, world application for cryptocurrency that can be turned into something real in real, you know, in reality. This is, uh, I think... Uh, something that can be obtained very easily. But again, 
like anything, you just need funding to get it started. In uh, project management, I've uh, managed this out. And it's it looks good. I just need some uh, some funding. So last but not least on this, crypto fear and greed index. We're at 42 right now. We're still in the fear, but man, we're not in 35 or 21s. I'll tell you that. So great thing to see. Our sentiments looking a lot uh, better now. Uh, it's going sideways, and uh, we shall see what the future holds. Because uh, 6,700 for Bitcoin, looking pretty good right now. And again. I really want to touch on that. Your 200 MA is powerful, especially a flat 200 MA. A flat 200 MA is going to tell you wonders. All right, and uh, I'll get in with the you know a little bit more with the 200 MA on my next video and the 20 MA. I'm going to be focusing more on day trading when it comes to um, methodologies um, and styles of day trading on the cryptocurrency market that I can see happening. Um, on a daily basis. So uh, my name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below. It all helps my channel and uh, the dogs that I'll be rescuing in the future. So you guys keep up the grind.